Hey, how's it going? So I'm going to show you how to do the default export, right? So normally you export, um, you export like this, right? Let's just do this one here. So use capitalized get test arg query. Oh, whoops, I completely forgot how to do it. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, sure, this should be const equals API slice. And then if we want to use it, we go here, we put it in here, and then let or whatever const test equals this. And let's put test as an argument. And then this should work, right? We should have test printed, yeah. So now we have test printed. So there is a better way of doing this, much, much better way. Because this is very time consuming, trying to constantly export. So what you can do instead is export default and then API slice like this. Now, because it's a default export, you can name it as anything. So let's say, I don't know, any name. My API. My API. So now you can do it two ways, right? You can either const equals my API. You can destructure in here. So we can do use, what was it called? This thing here. Use get test arg query, right? And now we can just call it use get test query test. So this will work, right? Yeah, so you see this is working. Or you can do it another way. You can do it just like this. Um, what are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it, I don't know, my, va my variable, whatever, variable. And then my API dot use get all query. And then, hello, like this. this will work as well, right? Oh, whoops get test args get test arc I definitely misspelled something oh I forgot query my apologies there you go. now it should work yeah so for reload we should get hello yeah, because this thing basically prints anything that you pass it as an argument into it. Okay, so there's two ways of doing it. You can do it this way or that way, right? You can add a destructure here, or you can use it as an object. All right, so this is how to export default React test query. Another one is you can also use a uh, lazy query. I'm going to link this in the description below. Lazy query, right? Lazy query is pretty good. If you want to, uh, you just type lazy in here, right? And then, well, let's first of all, see what's inside of it, right? Let's just console log this thing. What you're going to see, it will return a array with th three things in it. I think it's called tulip, right? Tuple, yeah, tuple. So this is the trigger function. So if you remember, well, let me show you what this is. It's kind of like a refetch function. Um, so if we remove this, 
API. Oh, whoops. Use. Yeah. So look, if you look in here, you will see that we have a refetch function. So refetch function basically refetches the information. But when you do lazy, we get a something slightly different. We get a uh, trigger function. So data will be undefined until you're going to call the trigger function. And then that's it. And the third one just um, will give you the result of the last promise. Result of the last promise. Okay. So I don't know what you're going to use it for, but. And the way to do the way to use this thing is the best way is just to destructure it like this. So name of trigger function. You can call this anything you want, but as soon as you call this thing, it will get the data. So here will be the standard destructuring. So do you remember is error. So we're talking about this stuff here. Um, it's basically this object here. Uh, where was it? Yeah. When you do standard query, you get this object with stuff like is error, is fetching, is loading, current data, data, right? So second argument, well, second item in the array is basically this thing. So you can structure it as normal, like is error, is success, data, I think it's current data as well. Well, you can structure anything you want. And final one is result of last promise last promise info I think it's called last promise info so this is like kind of like the um, this is convention to call it like this right so now look if we go with data so I'll show you something cool so this is going to be data, and then we'll call this current data, right? So you will notice that it's going to be undefined. You see, it's undefined. Okay, so now, wait, but how is it? Very, very interesting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because my base URL is... Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand why. I understand what's going on. Yeah, because in here I'm fetching basically from this thing here. So we have data coming in. All right. So now let's do use effect and let's trigger this function here, right? And what you're going to notice is it's going to re-render a couple of times and then get the data, you see? So if you want to have control when this thing is triggering, that's how to do it. Right, so this saves you time trying to fetch data one million times, right? So as you can see, like at the start, it's undefined. Then we trigger the function. Then it will render us and then it gets the data for you. And then that's it. Okay, and that's, that's about it. Take care, bye-bye.